This is not a MIDI violin. It might be advertised as one. Lots of people might have described it as one. It might even look like one, but it isn't. Let me explain. So this is a Cantini Eophonic five string electric violin, which I will do a full review of later. This is just about MIDI. And yes, it has the usual outputs. It has your standard jack there, guitar level output. And it has an eight pin in there to go into 13 pin in devices such as the GR55 you often see on YouTube and in my case an SY1000 which I see down there. But that is not a MIDI connector. That is an all analog connector. How this violin works is there is a magnetic pickup built into the bridge and that sends all five string outputs separately to different pins on here and this Y1000 interprets them. And I'm going to prove this to you now. So what I'm going to do, I have a bare Y here, don't try this at home. Actually you might as well, the voltages are very very low. And I'm going to connect it to right in. This one goes into the ground. I need the jack connected here to allow the uh, preamp to work. So I've got that plugged in, to, you can see there. And if I plug the strings, hear the C strings nice and loud, the other's quite quiet. If I move it to a different pin, A string. So as you can hear there, the outputs are all separate. There is a slight ghosting of each of the strings, although that's connected to the E string. There is a bit coming from the C string there, and when you put the E string, you can, it's a lot louder. So that's what this is doing. It's just sending analog outputs from each string from this divided pickup to the SY1000 and that makes it all into MIDI or whatever it needs to use. So let me plug the uh, DIN in. With the thing connected here to the SY1000 you get the usual sort of safety type stuff. So having told you and hopefully convinced you that this is not a MIDI violin I and mean, if you wanted to plug that into a MIDI device, good luck to you. If you don't know which pins go to where, you'll get nothing out of it. But that's what it does. This is from the SY1000 in one of the factory patches. That's what most people mean when they think of it as a MIDI violin. They think, oh, it makes sense noises. Since it's MIDI, therefore it must be a MIDI violin. But it's not a MIDI violin. It's not even using MIDI within the synth. Because even the oscillators in the synth that are supposedly based on pitch tracking, well, they are based on pitch tracking, don't use MIDI internally. Um, which is what I thought did happen, to be fair. When I first got it, you think, oh, well, it makes sense. You convert it to MIDI and then run synth in the SY1000. But the SY1000 runs pretty reliably, as you've heard there. If I plug this into an actual synthesizer, different things happen. So here is a real synthesizer. This is the uh, Micro Monster, which I reviewed several years ago now. Right. So and this is connected to the MIDI output of the SY1000. I've got it using um, a sort of standard sort of brassy type patch so you can hear what's actually happening when I play the strings.
Oh dear, <laughs> that's really bad, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's what happens when you plug it into a MIDI. Now, that's on non-chromatic, so in theory that would allow you to do bends, slides. Practice, they don't work very well either. What you can do, if you want to make it slightly better, don't to chromatic, needs to be type 2. And then it works reason real there. It's not brilliant, but it's a lot better. The problem with that is, of course, you lose a lot of the point of playing a violin. You can't do slides and vibrato doesn't really come out. I'll put some of the mic input in there so you can hear what's going on. So it's unsatisfactory at best, I would say, but it does sort of work. If you're using a GR55 and using sample-based synths to play sort of drums or piano, it's probably adequate. But as a sort of lead instrument, I really wouldn't like to rely on it. It's, it's really not fun using an external synth. As I said before, it works fine with the internal synths. It's the external ones that don't behave. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. I've been following the violin to MIDI thing for a long time now, and it has never worked well. I've tried software things, they don't never they've never been very good. This is the first sort of hardware thing I've really tried, and it's still not really good. I got the SY300 mainly because it did work properly. And that's because it's not using MIDI output, it is just using resynthesis engine. Which, to be fair to the SY1000, most of the factory patches on the SY1000 are also resynthesis. Or based on the GR300 type sounds. So there's not a lot of sort of MIDI synthesis in this in that thing either. Which is a slight admission, I suspect. Although it does work fine on guitar. Um, Stuart uses the GR55 with his guitar quite a lot and it works beautifully but violins have a lot of problems the, um, a lot of the pitch tracking software uses the attack to optimize the algorithm so you can get a lot of the pitch from the attack and then you sort of hang on to it for a bit in pits it's fine now yeah, lovely but when you're bowing you don't have a lot of attack or you don't often have when you can, it's still not as much at a pick attack, so it doesn't have that to optimize. And there are also a lot of extra harmonics going on in violins that guitars just don't have, or because of the because of the bowing action. If you use the Waves Auto Tune on a violin, it's quite telling. It actually picks the wrong octave quite a lot of the time. So that's, yeah, it's pitch tracking on MIDI is hard. I won't mention the name, but I once saw a fairly well known guitar to MIDI company, the made a VST, I think saying sign up for violin to midi announcements i've heard nothing from them in a lot of years this stuff's hard it's very very hard so yeah violin to midi midi violin unsatisfactory not really very useful for sort of mainstream lead playing but then it doesn't bother me that much because i'm a reasonable keyboard player i can get by with enough on keys to do the things I need. So I've never been particularly worried about it. I mean, it's something I've been following because I'm interested in it rather than desperately wanting it to work. So one thing I have also tried is this little box, which is a Sonus MIDI port, or is it music port? It might be the music port, the MIDI port might be the one with the din on the back. And it's got a normal jack on back, 
USB on the other side and you plug in your normal violin output into that and that converts to MIDI so and I have been using this a bit with helicopter quartet actually not for mainstream but for adding a bit of extra color so this is the same patch on the uh, macro monster going through the, uh, the Sonos music board It's, to be honest, it's no worse than the SY1000. That's a small box you can just plug in. So if you want audio to MIDI, I suspect that's a better bet. What I've been using that for with Helicopter Quartet is to sort of provide trails on the synth, which is quite effective. Less as a, as a lead device, because I tend to concentrate using the SY300. The Sonus is a monophonic thing, so it's not really that good for guitar, but it's fine for violin most of the time, because most of the time what you're playing with violin is mono. So, is monophonic anyway, it's usually a lead line or single notes mostly anyway. It means it does cut off when you play another note, but it's not a huge disadvantage. It's fairly basic, but it does a job. Um, there are other things that do MIDI. There's a, Zeta used to make their own violins and MIDI box, which you would hope would do quite well being, being sold as a specific violin and MIDI interface. But they don't do it anymore, and I don't know whether that's telling or not. I've not tried it. If anybody has tried it, let me know. I'll be really interested to see that. And also, if you've got any, had any better luck with other violin to MIDI solutions, I'm not convinced at the moment. The technology might get there eventually, but it's still got a long way to go. And it's one of those things that's a bit of a minority interest, so I suspect there's not a lot of money going into it. So, yeah, this is not a MIDI violin. It's not even slightly a MIDI violin. But it works quite nicely as a synthesizer controller when you're using the SY1000 or the GR55. So if you want MIDI violins, we're still waiting. Bye for now, I'll see you later when I do a full review of this instrument.